Hi, and welcome to Optimum TV. I'm Stephen Adams. And today I'm joined by Stephen Powell, CEO of Glen Clover Scientific, which is developing therapeutics based on virus like particles, also known as VLPs, initially to treat chronic skin diseases, including pruritus and atopic dermatitis. So, hi, Stephen. Uh, good morning, Stephen. Well, let's kick right off. Monoclonal antibodies are often considered the go-to way of treating autoimmune conditions, skin conditions, such as pruritus and atopic dermatitis. Why are you taking a different route um, to tackling them with these VLP-based approaches? Uh, so monoclonal antibodies have been very successful as a class of drugs and are used in a, in a whole range of different disease indications. However, there are some fundamental issues associated with the, them as a drug class. Uh, one of those is that um, the prescription cost is high. So over the course of a year, it could be as expensive as uh, $100,000 per patient. Also, you need to dose with monoclonal antibodies on a, on a regular basis every six to eight weeks. And that often has to be under the supervision of a medical uh, professional. Um, and lastly, um, there are in a certain percentage of patients uh, an immune reaction to the antibody itself, which prevents its further use. So there are multiple issues associated with monoclonals, which means that certain patient populations are precluded from their use, either because of the economics or because of the logistics of uh, treating patients with that drug. Okay, let's talk about virus-like particles. Um, there has been um, success in using VLPs in the past, most famously perhaps with MSD's Gardasil vaccine for the prevention of HPV-related cancers like cervical cancer. But I understand Glenn Clover scientific approach is a little bit different. Indeed, so um, as, as you quite rightly state, uh, virus-like particles or VLPs have been around for quite a considerable period of time. Um, they have been most successful in prophylactic vaccines where the virus-like particle shell is um, the primary um, component of the, an active component of the vaccine. Um, the potential to use virus-like particles in other, in other areas and in other ways has been explored quite extensively but they've proven to be quite difficult to manufacture in a number of different guises. And uh, what we want to do at Glen Clover Scientific is to present the antigen or the epitope that is going to uh, invoke an immune response on the surface of the virus-like particle. So we decorate the virus-like particle with that antigen. And the, uh, the challenge in doing that is finding a way to manufacture those um, decorated virus-like particles reproducibly and indeed cost-effectively. And that has proven to be very difficult to do in the past, to, to get a even coating of the decorating uh, agent over the surface of the virus-like particle and to do that in a single step. And what we've been able to do at Glen Clover is to figure out how you can do it in a, in a single cost-effective manufacturing step and produce a virus-like particle that carries an even uh, coating of the antigen that is going to cause the immune response. So it's all around engineering the virus-like particle and manufacturing it efficiently and cost-effectively. Right. So... Your lead candidate, GCS001, is for the treatment of pruritus. Um, for those who don't know, um, explain uh, pruritus in terms of who it affects, how it affects them, how it's currently treated, and why, think, why you think GCS001 could be a better approach to treatment. So um, pruritus in its simplest form is severe itch. Um, this affects something like seven to eight percent of the total po adult population. Um, however, as the population ages, then pruritus becomes more severe and more debilitating. 
and in elderly patients, so patients over 65 years of age, uh, it can affect as, as many as two thirds of that patient population, of that elderly patient population. And it is debilitating and it, it seriously impacts on the quality of life. There is no specific uh, registered drug for the treatment of uh, chronic uh, pruritus. Um, and at the moment, patients receive uh, treatment from um, creams, lotions, um, and in the most extreme cases, uh, opioids, all of which collectively impact on the quality of life of patients. Antibodies could in theory be used, but for all of the reasons that I, that, that I described previously, they tend not to be because these patients are often uh, remote and also it's a very expensive treatment for a, a, a disease that impacts on quality of life. So what we are trying to do is to use virus-like particles to treat that indication by, in effect, delivering a therapeutic vaccine with one, one or two shots per year, uh, which is achievable in that chronic elderly patient population. Okay. I understand you're also tackling um, atopic dermatitis, which is an even more um, common chronic inflammatory skin condition. But um, Glencove Scientific is using its VLP platform, or rather it has potential in other disease areas too, does it? Uh, yes, indeed. So um, as well as the immunodermatology uh, conditions, pruritus and atopic dermatitis, it, the technology can be applied across a, a whole range of inflammatory and autoimmune diseases. Uh, on top of that, we're also talking to potential partners around the use of these decorated virus-like particles in oncology. Um, we can also see how they could be used in uh, CNS uh, disorders. And of course, as virus-like particles carrying specific antigens, they can also be used in vac straightforward prophylactic vaccine applications as well, where the technology lends a particular advantage. Okay, so there's potentially quite a wide applicability. Uh, and finally, um, Stephen, um, Glen Clover Scientific has received, I think, £4.4 .4 million pounds in seed funding. How far is that going to get you? And are you planning another financing? Uh, so the short answer to the last part, Stephen, is yes. Um, the, to, to, the, to the earlier part of your question, um, with the seed funding, the £4.4 .4 million, what we've been, what we've been able to do is to establish uh, the company and the R&D team and the capabilities. We've built our um, R&D product uh, pipeline for in pruritus and atopic uh, dermatitis. Our lead program is now um, heading through preclinical development. And the, um, the new funds that we, we hope to raise will take that lead program into a first in human uh, study. In parallel, it will also take um, a, a similar program into um, animal health studies for the treatment of pruritus in canines. Um, and um, new money will also enable us to uh, progress the atopic dermatitis product. So the next stage of financing will deliver first in human and first in species in the case of canine uh, uh, applications. Uh, data from those uh, clinical studies. Super. Stephen Powell, CEO of Glen Clover Scientific, it's been fascinating talking to you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Stephen. Are you watching Optimum TV? In our bite-sized episodes, we talk to European life science leaders about the hottest trends, innovations, and capital market developments in the sector. To subscribe, visit at Optimum Comms on YouTube. You can also watch all available episodes on our website, OptimumComs.com.